What's up everybody, Jeremy with Hard to Master, doing a quick unboxing of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre Slaughterhouse game by Prospero Hall and Funko Games. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this open. You'll see this is a board. You have some text on the board. If we unfold the board, I'll show that at the end. There's one side, but the back side has some art on it. You do have this chainsaw meter here, which probably has a cube that's gonna move along that. This is the rule book. Let's flip through so you'll see what's in the box. Has pictures, pretty laid out. I like that they, I always like when games do different uh, text colors so you can find things easier instead of it all being the same color. You'll see Leatherface there. If you're a fan of the original movie, this is one thing that's going to be uh, exciting you. This is at Gen Con. I didn't think I would get to see it before then, uh, but uh, Adam was nice enough to send it before then so we could take a look and talk to the designers about the game. So hopefully we'll get to play it a few times before then. You'll see punch board, um, maybe one and a half millimeter uh, punch board it looks like. Not super thin, not super thick. It's not shiny, it's got more of a matte finish. You'll see more tokens here. Then we have this board as well. So you got your uh, Sawyer Farmhouse board, uh, where you'll see the item deck and things on it. So two boards there. You have five, uh, four standees for the people moving around the board. You have three um, bone dice. Uh, a little eerie holding these, but three bone dice that you'll be rolling. They do disperse pretty easily. Um, some extra baggies. You got the stands for the standees. You're gonna have three miniatures here for the Sawyer family. You've got Leatherface. That's what you all wanna see right here in orange. And then you've got two other family members here with you that will be helping Leatherface move around and uh, terrorize you. Here are the different cubes, look like standard cubes, almost a little maybe bigger than the ones in tapestry, but colors are very similar. In addition, we do have these different tiles. So you've got the old man tile, you've got the hitchhiker, uh, one of my favorite parts in the original movie, just creepy. Then you've got Leatherface, and we're talking about the 70s movie. This is not the new remakes with Matthew McConaughey or anything, or Jessica Biel. These are the, based off the original movie in the 70s, that 70s horror. Um, then we get in here, there's a box. I don't know if this is hidden information, so um, I'm afraid to open it up for you. Let me see. I will say there are some cards in there, but I don't know if they're not supposed to be seen yet, so I'm gonna leave them in there. You do have a bunch of other little little cards here, mini cards. Uh, I got the orange car. Oops, sorry about that. Made everybody sick. Knocking the camera with my hand. Go through, we'll open up some of these cards for you. So orange, blue, green. It's a green van and that. Then you've got these other little yellowish grassy cards. You've got different X-ray looking cards. Maybe have to do with, yeah, injury wounds. That's what I was thinking. Uh, there's one on the head. You've got different items you're gonna try and find, like keys to the different vehicles, gasoline, loot, camera, evidence. And then you've got these probably upgrades maybe, upgraded items. Maybe they, that's what it looks like to me. Well, different. Uh, clothing items and different things. Then we have this, which is in a separate bag, which makes me think maybe it's upgradable too in the game and changes that you unlock, not sure. Um, these are standard poker size cards. These, this next set. Um, so saw your family cards, probably where they're trying to find you how they move around the board and stuff. If I'm just guessing, I've not read the rule book or anything yet, just open it up. Artwork is pretty cool. Gives you that creepy uh, Ed Gein feeling. If you know uh, the history behind the movie, it's all based off of Ed Gein. And uh, 
So there's, and these are your reference cards, looks like. Tells you, you know, how you're gonna be taking actions and what you're gonna be doing in the game. And then here we have these, who will survive. These look like different scenarios, I'm not sure. Um, but they look like different scenarios that you can set up and that way it's different. Yeah, there's a chainsaw, there's those fire tokens. So it's like different ways to play the game, which is really cool because that's going to help it have better replayability. Um, let's see the back side. This is the back side of the Sawyer House one. You'll see uh, the stairs there and bones on the wall. And then on the back side of the main board, we did have that text. But we also have the meat hook there in the fridge. So, and the top one is just black. So that is what comes in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre uh, Slaughter House game by Funko games in Prospero Hall. Definitely check it out. We'll be at Gen Con on display and probably hitting retailers really soon. So check that out by Funko Games. Until next time, we'll see ya.